Hello Pisces. This is a reading for Pisces Sun, Moon, and Rising. Even Venus too. Um, for the end of December. Um, so what do does Pisces need to know to end this year off with a bang and to go into 2019 being fucking dope and amazing and their best selves? How can Pisces live their best life in 2019? What do we need to know? Mm. Oh, oh. Okay, so you've been dealing with some um, inner shit, like your shadow self, your um, intuition, your emotions. And it didn't feel like these wanted to pop at the beginning, so it's like... You've been really somewhere um, very internal the last, um, maybe you're reflecting for the end of the year. Um, oh. Ooh. Okay, so you can feel like maybe someone's out to get you. Maybe you're coming back around to realize that all these people up around you and do aren't for your best interest. Um, like, this card means, like, he comes back around to find a knife in his back, and maybe it's you, um, and it could be with your mind, maybe it's not even real, maybe it's, um, maybe it's just shit you're making up with your mind, maybe it's like you're going to this darker place in yourself, maybe you had to do that to, um, purge this shit that you've been through this year, oh, like, these are not wanting to pop at all. But it feels, the energy feels very heavy. Um, what does Pisces need to know? Mm. Knight of Cups. So there is a message on the way. Maybe um, someone's bringing, ooh, but we have him, this one on the floor. So there's definitely something going on in your emotional realm. Uh, maybe it's with a lover, maybe it's within yourself, maybe it's you finding parts of yourself, but there's a message on the way to bring you good news. Something, there's good news coming. Just, um, hold out. Definitely. Something, something is brewing, and, uh, but what yet? We don't know. Maybe it's something you've been working on. I think it's going to be an un unexpected, kind of, um, ooh, there we go. Okay, so, the moon and the star. So definitely something in your um, shadow self, but the star promises hope. It promises um, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. So whatever you've been dealing with, um, it's going to come to fruition. The Knight of Pentacles said it's definitely like it's been slow and steady energy. It's been um, you've been working, 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 and you're getting there, but it's just going really slow. It's going really slow. Ooh. The lovers. So you do have a message. Maybe this connecting parts of yourself. Maybe you're getting, you're going to end this year off with figuring all your shit out. Page of Wands, so you're going on a journey. You are, um, maybe it could be a journey to self, a journey to your lover, a journey to the lover within you. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you are a higher self. Um, you're, that's what I take it as. Like you're getting to the bottom of you. For sure. We have King of Wands. Ooh. So, sailing away from the bullshit, definitely. So, you're going to be traveling or sailing away from the bullshit. This could be, it could not even be a physical going or traveling. It could be, but more than likely it's a, a traveling within yourself type thing. A figuring out what's in you. So, it's like you're almost at the shoreline. You need definitely need some rest, though. And you need to go over, um, basically evaluate yourself. Um evaluate your passions evaluate what you really want in life um because it's definitely like this all feels like this doesn't feel like in a relationship this feels like something going on internally with you and you connecting with your higher self your spirit self your um who you truly want to be like your lower self meaning your higher self basically and you getting on this path where it's like all your dreams and shit collide so Sorry about that. I got a phone call. <laughs> but 
Oh. Okay, so Queen of Wands. You have the Queen of, Queen of Wands now and the King of Wands. So this is definitely passions, desires. Um, oh, this guy just slipped out too. Ooh, Ten of Pentacles. Something coming to fruition. Maybe something is going, whatever you're working hard for. Um, Pisces are, are so, blah, blah, blah. you guys are so creative. Um, one of the most creative signs, I think. So, it's definitely, um, you connecting with your higher self, you connecting with your creativity, you connecting with what you really want in life, and taking a, um, inventory almost of, like, what are your passions, what do you want, um, and, I mean, it could be you dealing with a fire sign, um, but I, I more think it's you dealing with the fire that's inside yourself, your passion that's inside yourself, what you really want, um, what you want to manifest, what you want to bring to 2019, and the, I mean, yeah, that you've been working on all 2018, and now it's finally, it's finally here, it's finally that last moment, so don't give up if, because you're right there, you're about to pop. Let me pull, um, let me just clarify. Ooh. Nothing's going to come out for you. There's that one big step. Oh, this guy flipped. Experiencing. So, <clears throat> take time to... Like in this in this um card, she's like hugging the tree. She's like taking a moment to fully feel the experience. So the struggle is the most beautiful part sometimes. So if you've been struggling with shit and it's been it's been you trying to figure out what you're doing, like take a moment to experience that because you're gonna look back and you're gonna be like, damn, was that really? That was really the fun part. The struggle is always the fun part. You never watch movies about somebody being on top and just winning. You always watch the movies about somebody, the struggle. The struggle is really the fun part. It feels like shit. But afterwards, you can be like, I did that. Like, I fucking did that. I fucking went through that. And I'm on fucking top. I can't believe where I'm at right now. So it's really about taking in that energy and just feeling through the parts of yourself. Feeling through this struggle. Feeling through all the things that made you you this year that all the things that are going to make your story it's your story and it's beautiful so at the bottom of the deck you have oop. <laughs> well i was going to say it's the master so but patience popped so have patience because you're about to birth something beautiful and it's going to be i feel like this master you're you are the master of your own world but you're about to birth this into this realm. It's about to come to fruition. It's it's almost time for this. It's, it's like a baby of your, like, whatever. You're this baby you've been making of uh, your own creative bullshit. Like, you're about to birth her, that, this baby into the universe. So, um, yeah. If you guys want to read with me, um, go to tylerdaysantis.com. Um, also, there you can purchase my art. You can check out my blog whatever you want um yeah so i love you guys see you in 2019